Hi, welcome to Official Hot Boys. Grow your skills online with our stunning videos. We provide web development, internet hacks, Excel, and a lot more you can't wait to utilize. Remember, we do not encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided from us is only meant for educational purpose. If are new to our YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, share your reviews, and turn on the notification bell to receive exclusive content from us. Yeah, hello guys. Yes, welcome back to Hot Boy. And in this brand new tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate on how to hide a website URL. You understand? Yeah, so uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is to help web de uh, web developers to be able to hide your website URL because of security reasons. You understand? Uh, you will want to go to a website and then you will see the extension example uh, <coughs> example facebook.php uh, twitter.php you see it doesn't make sense so this video will help you to rewrite your website url this is what i'm talking about example i'm going to use this website for example you understand so uh, example when I click and refresh so when I click on this uh, link look at the URL right now when I click on this link you will be able to see about you understand about.php and then we don't want this we want to uh, hide this so when you click on the link it will be about.php Right now, I haven't done anything yet, so if I try to refresh, it won't go, you understand? Yeah, it will tell me not found. So, we are going to use a file called .htaccess, you understand, to do this, to be able to achieve this. So that whenever we click on each link, we do not want to see this .php file, you understand? We want to hide all our url files i hope you understand very clear all right so we're going to use a, a file called .htaccess and then if you want the documentation of this file you can go to their uh, their website to read more about this uh, file documentation just search on google dot htss documentation all right all right this is it so dot htss is a file that control your, your web server okay so it's a, it's a file that control your web server you can use it to manipulate a lot of uh, settings in your web server which uh, it will, it also helps in security reasons is not only URL. I'll be doing more tutorials about this. You can use it to uh, hide your folders and then files within your website, so that nobody who can access your images, your media files. You understand? And it's also used to configure your web server. It's, it can be used to redirect your website to a different domain. So this is a documentation for .htaccess. If you need any help, you can come here to read more about it. Alright, so I'm going to this website to do this, to be able to achieve this option. And at the end, we, would, we don't want to see .php. Alright, so make sure you have your text editor, you understand? And then this is the website files. Uh, this is the website files. You can see .php, .php, .php. Alright, so in case this is your website files, this is what you have to do so these are the urls if you come to header.php you will be able to see you will be able to see the links here about.php admissions.php programs.php contact.php so at the end of the video we will to remove the .php extensions you understand yeah, we're going to remove the .php extensions. Okay, all right. So, 
so to start this make sure you you create a new file okay so create a new file and then name this file just this dot ut access you understand So make sure you create a new file and then name the file dot ht access okay and then now save it all right so this is a file right now this is the file so we are going to write in some conditions here okay and then these conditions we are going to write is going to uh, control our web server how it should, it should behave you understand so we want to write a condition so that we can we can hide this extension in our website all right so come to your web server and then uh, now all right so uh, we are going to write our first condition okay to configure this uh, or, uh, or to achieve this operation all right good so to get started make sure we have to declare our condition first okay so the first condition you're going to declare is uh, uh, if all right make sure you write the same uh, model this is not like this is not a language this is not any coding this is not any pro programming language this is just a, a condition we are writing to control our web server you understand all right so if model model okay underscore and then mood okay rewrite you understand dot c all right so write this and then now you come down then then we close this tag okay you want to close this condition so if model then you close it you understand all right so all our conditions are going to be here okay so in dot htss if you want to write a comment in dot htss if i say a comment something like a note which will not be uh, dis uh, displayed or it will not be counted as as a program you understand so to write a comment this is it you started with hash and then you you write a comment blah 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 you understand all right so now now we have declared our statements here and then we want to write the conditions here okay so make sure to turn on <coughs> make sure to turn on your urls engine on okay so to do that rewrite okay rewrite engine engine on all right <clears throat> i hope you understand this so if you this 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 statement this statement will turn on your apache server okay this statement will turn on the dot hcss configuration and then now when it comes to the next step you write the uh you're going to write the actual code to hide the extension so i'm going to put a comment here config all right and then the next one is to we are going to hide hide all the extensions you understand so hide all php extensions you understand all right so now make sure you write this code so this code this condition you're going to write is going to hide all our php extension okay so rewrite rewrite condition you understand and then now you come here then you write percentage okay so in the percent you write a calibrisis and then we write requests so request underscore file name okay and then here 
uh, exclamation mark and then this is equal to d you understand all right so this condition simply means uh, this request it should request for a file name sorry this is supposed to be n percent not n all right so this uh, condition simply means it should ignore any file issue any file that is not php coming it should leave it okay it should leave it and then now you come to the next step it shouldn't do anything it should just it's this is called like a regular a regular regular expression all right regular expression the regular expression simply means we are writing the condition meaning true or false so this one we are saying that if there was a file which is the PHP, you should leave it and accept it to run the server, okay? And then here, the next one, we're going to write another condition, all right? So, rewrite condition, you understand? And then your percentage, and then now you write the request, all right? So, request underscore file name so in the file name you go with this the forward slash and then dot php php all right so when you go to dot php and then now you add this f you understand all right so with this one this is the one this this condition simply means now check if the file coming is a file name which is the php now check and then now hide the condition you understand all right so we should hide the condition you understand yeah all right so uh, we'll go to the next step okay so the next step will be rewrite the next thing we are going to declare the rule that is the, that is going to be the final st uh, statement, final stage to make this work. You understand? So rewrite and then now we're going to add this. this statement, this symbol, okay, and then now you put it in the curly braces. So dots, okay. So this condition simply means when if the extension the extension has a dot okay then star you understand then the dollar sign the now space and the now dollar sign one okay and then dot php all right and then you, you open a an array angle you understand and then nc right and then l all right so this is the rule this is the rule to uh this is the rule to execute this operation you understand so we write and then uh this is a rule this is a rule okay so upon all the codes we've uh, we, we wrote here this is the rule that makes this work you understand all right so we're going to test this code in our page to make sure if it's working fine all right so when you are done make sure you save it you save this file um, you save this file and then now you do it you test it you understand all right so i'm going to go back here to our website and then now you check here so you're going to remove uh, dot php from this section and then we'll test test it and see if it's working fine all right so now let's refresh there was a problem okay so there was a problem on the apache server the codes were written i told you this dot htss file control the web server so we we'll have to go there and then look at what is happening you understand so i'll come back here and then now let me look at this very well rewrite and count uh, 
sent requests request and a file name file name this nd then we write on the same the file name dot php and hyphen Now we write. Sorry, <laughs> I'm supposed to add row here. You understand? All right. So we write row, and then now you come here. This is a simple mistake you do in when you are um, programming for anything. So I think that's all right now. So now when we are done with the, the this code, okay. Now. We go back to our web server and then we refresh our page to see the new changes so we go back there and then we refresh so you can see here so now i'm going to click about okay i'm not supposed to see dot php so about yeah you understand this is about and then you can see the extension is not having dot php anymore you understand so we go back there Header and then I will remove the PHP extension from all the files. Alright, I think this is it. So, this is all we have right now. And then we remove the PHP. I think here will be. Alright, so now. When we come back to our page let's click on admissions you can see dot p no php we don't have any php extension right now programs we don't have any php extension right now you understand and we can see the programs right here so this is the end of this tutorial and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how we can hide the fa the files okay the folders the files within this website if I'm saying that simply means example when uh, now if I go here and I add JS it's going to display all the files here okay and we don't want that because of security reasons so in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to do that with dot HTSS so we can hide all this nobody can see the uh, the information there you understand so thank you very much for watching this video and then make sure to subscribe and then comment if you enjoy this content thank you